Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so yet, then make sure to subscribe and ring the bell in order not to miss out on any of these videos. Today is going to be the fastest nail extension video ever. I'm doing an inspired celebrity manicure and I'll be doing this manicure on myself. So let's get started. I'm filing off the coat that I already have managed to get a bit bored of. I'm a little tired of the length on these nails, so I've decided to file them down. Here I'm taking off quite a bit of the length so that later I can add a lot more. In fact, there is quite a big difference between natural long nails and long extensions. I'm actually not even in favor of natural long nails, and natural long nails actually really annoy me. Um, usually it's just because they twist in the corners and they end up looking uneven or not even symmetrical. With a shorter length, it's not as noticeable, but when you're wanting long nails, it's better to just add extensions. This way, they'll all look the same and even. With my cuticle pusher, I'm pushing the cuticle back, and in order not to pick out any of the dead skin there manually, I'm using a corundum cone bit. It also works great on the overgrown natural zone of the nail instead of using a nail file. Using this kind of nail drill alone, you can complete an entire hardware manicure. And today, in this video, I'll show all of you how to do this. The corundum cone we'll be using in place of our nail drill. With the nail drill, I'm starting off by cleaning out the cuticle area. Here we're cleaning this up as usual. I use my nail drill practically always with reverse turned on when cleaning up the cuticle area. Now, with reverse still turned on, I'm moving from right to left. I'm lifting up the cuticle here with the drill bit's belly facing upward, and here is our result after having cleaned that up. I've turned the rotation back on forward, and lowering the power for cutting the cuticle. With the nail drill, I'm going around the contour of the lifted cuticle and naturally cutting it off. This worked amazing on my cuticles. Usually, I like to clean up my cuticles with scissors because the nail drill sometimes is a bit difficult to control, uh, especially when you're doing your own nails and holding the drill with only one hand. The length of the sidewalls won't be a problem for our extensions, so I'm leaving them as is, because today we're doing tips. I've already chosen the perfect shape for my nails. Today we'll be needing acro gel because, as you all know, a simple gel won't work. It'll just run off. The acro gel we'll be using today is clear, but before that we'll need to apply our primer. In general, everything as usual. Now we're filling in the acro gel to the shape. It's super important that it's thin around the cuticle so that when you press it down, the product won't seep out onto the skin. It's also not worth putting on a lot of product around the edges. The length I'm spreading out to all of the tips and then laying that down on the nail while pushing it a bit on the cuticle. I'm pressing down the tip tightly to the nail and then a brush cleaning up the excess on the bottom corner that squeezed out a little bit. More precisely, we're smoothing it out across the length of the tips and then letting it dry underneath the lamp. Of course, we're continuing with these steps for each nail. Another advantage of nail tips is that if the product you put on ran off the sides a little bit, 
The nail tip will really help to make that even. Also, it's a lot quicker to fix these kinds of mistakes. We're building up the thickness of these fake nails all in one go. The top, we don't even need to file down. We'll just have to file the edges a bit, but not the top, which is great. Now the disadvantages of nail tips. They don't work for everyone. That is the curves of the nail tips. From the point of view of modeling nails, it could be a disaster. There's no accurate points, no apex height, and the overall build of the nail will look wrong. The product is spreading out where it should and everything is turning out great. It was super fast and simple. As I mentioned, I'm doing an inspired look from a celebrity. Guess whose nails these are? However, I'm only copying the length and the shape of the nails because I liked another design more. I'm filing down these square nails closer to a ballerina shape. Nail tips, they tend to have curved ends. If we were to do short nails, it wouldn't be noticeable at all, but with this kind of length, it ends up looking a little bit like claws. For clients, I wouldn't use these kind of nail tips with this length because this curved edge at the ends is considered incorrect and not the prettiest. But Western celebrities would have to disagree and actually only do these kind of nails. I'm coating my nails in a stained glass pink gel polish. Because of this, I needed those nail tips to be clear. This way, that color will shine through on its own. I've mentioned before that I think the trend of shorter nails will eventually come back to long nails. It hasn't completely happened yet, but this celebrity is already bringing this trend back. They love super long nails and bright manicures, and it seems it doesn't happen to bother them in any of their day-to-day -day activities, or even with little kids. And we're finished with our beautiful look. I'm wishing all of you an unforgettable summer. If you liked this video, then give it a big thumbs up, and until next time.